guys, long time no see. I don't really have any... Oh my god. I'm so itchy. But my makeup is caked on so thick, there's no way I can actually itch myself. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be filming a swimmer's haul, swimsuit haul, bathing suit haul, whatever you want to call it. Some people call it like tanks, don't they? Isn't that a thing? I'm doing a video with Kutchi today. They reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try out some of these swimsuits. And of course, because I already tried filming this, I have already tried these, but for the purpose of this video, I will be trying them on again and showing you guys. This is sponsored by Cupshe and these were sent to me, but this is all gonna be my honest opinion. If I don't like the swimsuits, I will tell you. When I filmed this last, I actually got makeup all over the swimsuits. So a couple of them are stained. I have tried so hard. I even got my mum to try getting this stain out. I basically ruined them. I do it with everything I own. Literally the second I clean my sheets, I get food on them. So I just want you guys to know that the stains did not come on the clothing. They were perfectly clean. Um, that was all me. The big yellow stain, that's, that's my pea stain. No kidding. It's bronzer. I tried putting sea salt spray in my hair and it just ended up really nasty and dirty. So I put it up in this. I do not know how to do my hair. Am I the only person who has no idea? If I don't put it half up, half down, I look like Snape. <laughs> to all the people who are commenting on my videos and saying that me trying on this stuff makes you more confident about yourself, I just want you to know that you are beautiful. You can wear whatever the hell you want and if anybody tells you not to, then this is all the swimsuits. I have six of them. All of these came in this like plastic packaging. Still not a fan of the plastic packaging, but I guess it does protect the clothing if it gets rained on or something. But I would love for people to find another way to protect the clothing without having to use heaps of unnecessary plastic. The packaging was really cute though. It had like little banana leaves on it, but I still would prefer without. This is the first bikini. So this is a little farm girl moment here. First thing I noticed is, I didn't realize, but it has like this little butt scrunchie. The frills are well sewn on and I love that we have adjustable straps. Always need adjustable straps because you know my titties saggy like that. Because I like to hoist the girls up. Also, I got all of these in a size large because I find that I'm a medium everywhere else but in my bobbies and my me, I am a large. Make sure you check the sizing on the website. It's different for every website. I'm just gonna try on that first bikini and show you what it looks like. As always, I'm gonna be linking the clothes down below. So if you guys wanna buy them, you can go and click on there. This is the yellow gingham ruffled bikini and it is $29.99. Both pieces are $29.99 so that's way cheaper than if you were going to go to the shops and buy a bikini. If anybody's wondering what the dots on my arms are, this is actually the reason I'm not fake tan today. I've got a skin condition. I got these lovely red dots all over me which I thought was an allergic reaction at first but it turns out it's called Pityriasis Versicolor. But yeah, I haven't been able to wear fake tan because of that. So I'm just flaunting my natural skin color at the moment. And I'm kind of loving it. Into the swimsuit. This is super duper cute. I've got this little bit here where my tummy kind of sticks out a bit. And I love that I can kind of put it over that and make it flat rather than it being down here and having that little bump. I feel like a little like Dolly Parton cowgirl kind of moment. I love that the straps are adjustable because I yoinked them up. I feel secure, which I like. It's probably not the most supportive bikini. Possibly if I was to jump in the pool, I could slip. But honestly, I do not own a bikini yet that does not make me slip out when I jump in the pool. It's making me look thick in all the right places and I'm loving it. 
you want to have a look at the coverage this is how much coverage it provides it's actually covering a lot but not too much if you know what I mean I like that my whole entire ass isn't out but like a little bit is just peeking out to say hi I feel like I could wear this as like a costume I could be like a little cowgirl farm girl yeehaw um, this makes me want to start yodeling and like go on top of the hills and ride a cow. Is that a mood? I feel like that's a mood. They all come with these little circular paddings inside. They have little holes where you can just pull the padding out if you want. I don't know if you're into that. I don't really care about the padding being there. You can't see it. So that was the yellow gingham bikini. This is the maroon strappy halter bikini. It's probably one of the cheapest out of all of them at $24.99. Not gonna lie, I was so confused on how I was supposed to put this one on, but I figured it out. <laughs> it comes like open and then you pull the strings, pull it around at the front and then tie it at the back. I really like the color. I feel like it's complementing my skin a lot. This one's a little bit more of an uncomfortable one. It's probably the more risky of the bunch. As you can see, it shows a lot more of the butt than the last one. It's still not crazy cheeky though. Like you've still got a, quite a bit of coverage, which I like because I don't want a thong bikini, especially if I'm going to be wearing it around my family. That might be your style, but I just prefer not to have it up my ass. I find it more comfortable. This one's also a lot more sporty looking, I feel. It has like these little strings on each side so you could like move them down if you can be bothered to do that. I really like this little detailing it has on the side with these little straps it just makes it a bit more interesting so this one's a very showy bikini i really really like this color i'm never really a maroon wearer but i feel like this complements my skin tone really really well i feel like it's making me look less pink and more tan which i'm not actually tan so it's doing something these tie up bikinis i find can get a little bit uncomfortable for me to get the support that i need i need to do it up really really tight and as you can see, it can kind of be quite tight on the skin where I need to tie it up. If you're wearing it for the looks and you don't really care about that though, she's flattering. I love this shape that it has here. I look a lot more voluptuous right now than I usually do, which I'm enjoying a lot. It is a really, really nice bikini. This is the first one piece I got and I can't get over how pretty the pattern looks, especially in the viewfinder but it's just as pretty in person. So this one piece is called the Young and Vigor Print One Piece Swimsuit, and this was $24.50. I'm not usually a one piece wearer, but I feel like the way these lines here come in, it's actually really, really flattering. I usually don't find one pieces flattering on me because I find they don't accentuate the waist very much, but this one comes in at the waist and this band around here like makes it look really slim when i first saw this pattern at first glance i was like i don't know about that i don't know if that's something i'd wear it's so pretty in person i would for sure wear this as a top like with jeans wait this would be oh my god that would be adorable with jeans i actually already wore this one in the pool it is so supportive it's pressing my boots down you can pull them up, but I actually love the fact that it's pressing them down. This is the first swimsuit I've been able to jump in the pool with without everything flying out. Like, usually when I jump in the pool, I have to do this. But with this one, I'm like... It's really, really full coverage. You have no worry about anything coming out at all. The only thing is, this clasp is hell. It is so hard to do up. So I would definitely recommend getting somebody else to do this up for you and not going through the bother of having to do that clasp up because I actually tried to fight this swimsuit for 10 minutes and just gave up in the end and got my mom to do it. Here's a closer look at the pattern. It's also got adjustable straps again. I think almost all of these have adjustable straps, which is a plus because every girl's different. Every girl is going to need different stuff. So adjustable straps is a must in a bikini for me. These little stripes here are also made out of swimsuit material. It's very visco girl. I feel like, I feel like the pattern is very visco girl. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. But like, I'm on my Fiji trip in Hawaii. Like I'm loving it. 
I don't know why talking about Visco Girls made me think of this, but I watched Aquaman recently because Jason Momoa is my king. Probably the worst movie I've ever watched. I'm still in the process of watching it. I'm watching it in 20 minute slots because I can't take more than that. But like, I just want to watch it just for Jason Momoa. So it's kind of like this conflict that I've been really battling with at the moment. This is called the Navy and White Vertical Stripe High Waisted Bikini and it was $27.99. When I filmed this video the first time, I covered myself in olive oil and bronzer because I thought it was going to look better um, than fake tan on my skin condition. I just do not hold anything back, do I? Anyway, first of all, it stuck really bad to my skin condition, so it looked horrible. And it also got all over every one of these bikinis. But this one, like, she went through it. I don't know if you can see this, but for some reason the olive oil and bronzer made a mixture and turned into like a yellow paste, which has turned this yellow forever. This is sad because this was like one of my favorite ones. Like I think this is so modern, so in trend. I've never had a high-waisted bikini before and I think it just gives you that really nice hourglass shape. But ignoring the stains and everything, I love this bikini. I really like how much it covers at the back. I feel secure. I feel like it's not going to fly off. The amount of times I've exposed myself in a bikini is not funny. The only thing I'll say is this is a size large and I feel like the top is pushing it for me. Like it could be a bit bigger. This one doesn't have adjustable straps, but thankfully it has really thick tight supportive straps which I really like because it's giving me a lot of support. I feel like this is more of a size medium than a size large to be honest in the top um, because I'm not that voluptuous especially for a size large so I think this would not fit a lot more busty girls. Now it has this little tie at the front um I think that's just for decoration. I love the style of this though it's like a Kind of like a singlet. It's also got these double straps at the back, which just makes it a little bit more exciting. Oh my god, this one's so cute. This is the Smocked Green and Monstera high-waisted bikini. And this one's $33.99. I was so excited about this when I put it on. It's not actually a one-piece. It's a bikini, a high-waisted bikini. It has the adjustable straps, but you can actually take them off and just make it a tube top. And to be honest, it's this really, really stretchy material. So I feel like it would provide plenty of support. This is really, really flattering. It's, I've never seen a bikini like this before. You could wear it a little bit more down if you wanted to show a little bit of belly button. I kind of like it when it's up. This one's actually a tinsy bit cheekier at the back but this print is so pretty it's like um i guess this is the monstera it looks like kind of like a banana leaf but it's just a fern i love the color the forest green of this top if this wasn't swimsuit material i mean i would probably wear this as well as a top with jeans in summer i feel like this would just i feel like this is just a really cute top it's still got that padding in there although it's so thick up here I don't think like you need any padding at all. I'll probably take it out. This is all really nice and thick. I don't have anything bad to say about any of these bikinis. This might be one of my favorites. I don't know, I really like all of them. I feel like I'm saying all of my favorite. This is just so cute though. I have like nothing bad to say about it. I literally have nothing bad to say about this. I love it so much. It's very stretchy. There's a lot of room to squeeze in here. You could honestly, I feel like fit up to like a double D or, I don't know, maybe even an E in here. Cause my, my boobs have heaps of room. They're swimming right now. Yeah, this one's gorgeous. Honestly, nothing bad to say about this. I'm so glad I didn't stain this one. I literally just filmed like a 20 minute clip and it just deleted for some reason. My camera is crapping itself. I think it's overheating cause it's really hot here. Anyway, I just said how much I love this bikini. It's got this beautiful ribbing right here and under here. And I feel like it's just so flattering on the body. It's also got some really nice coverage on the bootay. 
Um, and this pattern is just beautiful. I love the shape, the triangle shape up here because it makes me look bigger and more voluptuous. And this is how it looks at the back. Honestly, this is probably my favorite bikini out of all of them. I think it is so, so cute. It's also got the padding, but it really doesn't need it because this is so thick. Like, I don't know if you can see from that. It's also very, very supportive. And you can adjust the straps as well if you want. And this color, like this really summery, vibrant yellow, it's just gorge. I could say many more good things about all of these swimsuits, but I'm not going to ramble on. You guys already know that I really like them. I'm trying to think of something bad to say. Probably the only thing I can think of is the striped bikini. The sizing was a little bit janky. But overall, Cupshe has been really good. I had never tried them before this, so I was a little bit worried. I'm always skeptical with these type of brands, but honestly, everything was really good quality and it looked just like the photos. Cupshe also has a plus size range and they go up to 4XL, which I made sure to check before I agreed to do this video because that is very important to me, as you guys know. I don't want anybody being left out. That's just completely unfair and in 2019, we should be catering to all sizes. Thank you so much to Cupshe for doing this video with me. Sorry that I ruined one of them, um, but I'm still gonna wear it. <laughs> I also wanna say I've seen your guys' comments about not enjoying sponsored posts as much. Um, so I've taken that into account after this. I am not saying yes to any sponsors for a while and I will be focusing more on videos that you guys want. Because overall, I'm making these videos for you guys to watch. I want you to enjoy them. If you've watched this video all the way to the end, pop down below in the comments and tell me which was your favorite swimsuit out of all of these and also what video you want to see next from me. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Also follow me on my Instagram at Susie J Todd. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Mwah.